The Luma Fade transition, better known as the Sam Calder Luma transition, is a smooth and dramatic effect that transitions from one scene to another. The gradient OIP effect used in the Luma transition analyzes the brightness of the image to create a max or key, and uses that max to gradually reveal the new clip while fading out the old one. Let's see how we can create this transition in Premiere Pro. To create a luma fade transition you need at least two video clips on the timeline. In the first video, observe the sky which should be a flat, consistent color and be brighter than the bottom part which consists of darker elements like mountains. Footage with clear gradients such as sunsets, water and deserts will produce more noticeable luma fade transitions. For the second video, ensure the scenery is similar to the first with comparable exposure levels. Experimenting with the different footage can help you achieve the best luma fade transition. Let's back to the first footage for the transition select an area with a duration of 3 or 4 seconds as this length typically works better than a shorter transition. Click and drag this footage to the upper layer of your timeline. Next, place the second footage underneath the first footage, aligning it with the expected transition duration. To apply the gradient wipe effect, go to the effects tab and use the search bar to find the gradient wipe effect. And apply this effect to the second video layer. With the upper layer video selected, position the time indicator to the beginning frame of the second video. This will be the starting point of the transition. Then go to the effect controls tab where you find the gradient wipe effect at the bottom. To set up the transition, click on the stopwatch icon next to the transition completion to add a keyframe at the beginning of the transition. Move the time indicator to the end of the second layer video and increase the transition completion to 100%. A keyframe will automatically be created at this point. So the value of the first keyframe is 0% and the value of the last keyframe is 100%. Playback the transition to see how it functions and make adjustments as needed. You may notice in the current setup, the dark areas of the upper layer video are disappearing fast, revealing the video underneath. To reverse this effect, check the invert gradient option. This will cause the brighter areas of the upper layer video to disappear first, followed by the darker areas, creating a smooth transition to the underlying video. If you find that the transition edges are too harsh, you can soften them to improve the transition. Go to the gradient of effect settings and adjust the transition softness. In my case, setting it to 5% produces a satisfactory result, but you can adjust the value according to your preferences. Feel free to experiment and adjust the settings as needed to achieve the desired result. Now we can freeze the transition at a specific moment to make it more interesting and engaging. This frame could be the best one to hold the transition. To do this, create a keyframe at this time indicator position by clicking on the diamond icon next to the transition completion. So now our new keyframe value is 49%. Next, drag this keyframe to the left, then hold down the Alter key and click on the keyframe. Then drag it to the right to create a duplicate copy. Place this duplicate keyframe before the last keyframe. The area between two keyframes will be the freeze area, where the luma fade transition will be held for a moment. This means the first keyframe value is 0%, the middle keyframe value is 49 or 50%, and the last keyframe value is 100%. Finally, observe the result of the transition. Now we can smooth the transition by making some changes. First ensure the upper layer video is selected, then move to the effect controls panel. Expand the transition completion by clicking on the arrow icon to view the keyframe curve line. You can adjust the curve line by clicking and dragging the graph or horizontal line. Next right click on the first keyframe and set it to ease out. Instantly you see the change on the curve line. Now right click on the last keyframe and set it to ease in to smooth the ramp. For this keyframe, also set it to ease out. If desired, you can use the handlebar to customize the curve. Next, go to the second keyframe and set it to ease in. This will give us a smooth curve line. After making the changes, play the video to see the transition. If you want to make a few adjustments to the ending part of the transition, move the time indicator to the position of the third keyframe and add a keyframe for the transition softness. Then position the time indicator a few frames before the last keyframe. As you want to soften the transition essence for the darker part of the video, adjust the transition softness according to your preferences. For example, I set it to around 30%. Finally, play the time indicator to see the changes. If you find the transition is too fast, you can adjust the keyframes position to lengthen the transition duration. I have also created some example of fade transitions that you are now seeing on the screen to help show how they work. 
The Morphic transition can be visually interesting but their effectiveness depends on the clips used. So selecting the right clips is important as mentioned earlier in this video. You can find many more impressive Lumafet transitions on YouTube. If you enjoyed this transition tutorial, be sure to check out other interesting transition tutorials on this channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.